Pic 18F45K22 with a LED bar graph and we will blink this LED bar graph with a 1 second interval. In the next task, push button is the interface with Pic through port D whereas LEDs are interface with Pic through port B. Depending upon position of switch, LEDs will be controlled. Let's create a folder to store our work. So my folder name is a pic and now open MPLAB XIDE. If there is any existing project then close it. To close the project go to the file and click on close all projects. Now take new project so go to the file once again and choose first option new project. Now in category select microchip embedded and in project select standalone project. Click on next. It will ask for family. In my case I am choosing pick 18 pick 18F45UK22. Click on it and click next. Then choose simulator and click on next. Then compiler XC8 click on next. Now choose your locations to store your project. So click on browse. Our folder is in on desktop with name pick. So select this folder and click on open. Now give name to the project so my name is LED and click on finish. Now open project and you can observe that right now no any file is linked with any header. Now go to the MPLAB code configurator for configuration purpose. So click on it. Now it will ask for saving the configuration setting. So keep default path and click on save. Now here choose oscillator select as a internal oscillator block and system clock select keep internal oscillator. Internal clock keep it as a 1 megahertz then watchdog timer keep it disable. Once this is a done, go to the pin module. Click on pin manager grid view. There are number of ports, port A, port B, port C, port D and so on. In pin module, there are two options, input and output. We will keep port B as a output. So, make respective pin as a output pin. So lock all the pins. You will find the list of port B here. Now disable analog option. Once this is done, you click on generate the file. Now compression file is a generated. Now go to the project and you can observe that MCC generated file are linked here. Double click on device configuration. Here you can find frequency of oscillator. We have chosen it is as a 1 megahertz. In source file double click on main.c scroll it after system initialization, you have to write your code. Now remove all the comments which are after system initialization and we will make first port B as a output port. So write line try SB is equal to 0x00. To turn on all the LEDs of port B, write line latch B is equal to 0xFF. After that, keep delay. 
so write line underscore underscore delay underscore ms into bracket 1000 to turn off all the LEDs of port B write line let B is equal to 0x00 and insert a delay so this is our small code we will generate hex file so click on build main project now project is built successfully now try to observe hex file so go to the folder then dist dist then default then production and at the last you will find here hex file you can observe it and this hex file we need to use while running the simulation by using protease this is a protease file middle one is a pic 18f 45k22 which is interface with a led bar graph through port b now save this file in the folder where we have created our hex file so i will choose same location and give name so my name is a led click on save now double click on peak choose frequency as a 1 megahertz and give path of our hex file say open say ok and run the simulation now led plaque is blinking with one second delay you can observe the timing here this task is to control leds by using push button to perform second task we have to mod, uh, modify code as well as settings so to change configuration setting click on MCC then click on pin module and pin manager right now entire port B is uh, acting as a output port so we want only two pins of port B as a output so remaining pins we can unlock next we want zero pin of port D as a input so lock this pin and here you will find new list for new task once this is done click on generate next go to the project click on main.c very first thing you have to give names to the all three pins next make button one pin as a input pin so right line next LED 1 and LED 2 must be output pins so right line next in the while statement check status of push button and depending upon that turn on the LEDs if button is a release then turn off first LED and turn on second LED and keep the delay of 1000 millisecond if button is a press condition then turn on LED 1 and turn off LED 2 and keep delay of 1000 millisecond so once this is done click on save and build the project now project is a compiled now open protease file so this is a protease file double click on chip give path of our folder say ok and run the protease simulation if button is a press LED 1 is a on if button is a release LED 2 is on and LED 1 is off so thanks for watching my video thanks